Hi, my name is Richard Schleyer, and I'm the Director of Environmental Health and Safety at Chicago Public Schools. As we begin welcoming students back into our school buildings, some of you may have questions about how the district will ensure that all classrooms will have proper ventilation and air quality. To be clear, our public health officials and the CDC have emphasized the importance of social distancing, wearing a mask, and washing hands as the best strategies against COVID-19. But we're taking additional steps to improve air quality and keep our school community safe. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how ventilation systems work at our schools and what we're doing to keep you safe. I'm going to walk you through the two types of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC systems, that are common in the district. Let's start with an older school building like Burnside Scholastic Academy here in the Chatham community. Many people assume these buildings are less safe because of their age, but that's not the case. Because they were designed and built at a time when illnesses like tuberculosis and Spanish flu were more prevalent, many were actually designed to maximize airflow. The district has spent tens of millions of dollars to repair and restore these ventilation systems over the summer and fall, and they are back in working order. So this we are looking at is a newly installed fan wall system, and the wires are temperature gauges that will adjust the fresh air coming into the building. School buildings like Burnside have an air shaft that allows outside air to enter the building. That air is then carried through vents into your classroom, and there are also exhaust vents that will pull stale air out of the classroom and push it outside. Often the exhaust vents are found in the closet or in the back of the room. To maintain proper circulation, keep these vents clear at all times. If your classroom has a radiator or forced air vent, it's important to keep both clear at the top and bottom because as these warm the air, it helps circulate air in and out of the classroom. It's really important that vents be kept clear to ensure fresh air can come in and stale air can be pushed out of the classroom. Schools that were built more recently, like here at Englewood Stem High School, use a centralized HVAC system. These systems pull in clean outside air and circulate that air throughout the school. Let's take a look at the HVAC system on the school's roof to show you how these systems work. Centralized HVAC systems have a bank of air filters to clean the air before it is circulated. We have adjusted our HVAC systems to draw in as much fresh air as possible, purify it with HEPA filters in every classroom, and force all the stale air outside. Let me show you how that works. First, the dampers are set to draw in as much fresh air as possible while also maintaining comfortable room temperatures for students and staff. In the fall, the district worked with a team of independent, state-certified environmental specialists to conduct indoor air quality assessments at each one of our school buildings to ensure our mechanical systems were in working order and ready to welcome back students and staff. These experts determined that the air quality in all schools is safe for reoccupancy. To provide an extra level of support, the district is installing HEPA air purifiers in your child's classroom, which will remove 99.99% of airborne viruses, bacteria, and mold. The district will install a total of 27,000 HEPA air purifiers, one enough for every classroom in the district, when all 340,000 students return. We are also encouraging schools to open a window to help improve air circulation and dilute indoor air when outdoor conditions allow. The window only needs to be cracked open just three inches or so, so it can significantly improve air quality. Larger classrooms may open two windows to create additional airflow if needed. It's important to remember that you don't have to open the window wide, just enough for fresh air to be pulled into the room and classroom doors can remain closed. This will help the exhaust system pull air out of the classroom and not from the hallway. Taking these simple steps will help increase fresh air coming into your classroom. And remember, just like a normal school year, your school's building engineer will ensure all classrooms are maintained at a temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, even with the window partially open. Our facilities team is here to help. Just let us know. Finally, while we've made significant improvements to the ventilation and purification, it is important to remember to continue to follow the CDC's key mitigation strategies, including washing hands, 
mask wearing, social distancing, and disinfecting commonly used areas. Our improvements in ventilation and air purification will work hand in hand with these practices to create the safest possible learning environment. We hope that this overview has provided you with more clarity on the district's commitment to clean air and safe schools. To learn more about our efforts, please go to cps.edu forward slash air quality.